This is something similar to what we see in the OR. The objective of this project was to develop a device to be able to monitor fetuses during fetal surgery, especially for the intervention that uh, we are developing here in our hospital in Texas Children's in order to perform a fetoscopic repair for our NTD fetuses. During these surgeries, these fetoscopic surgeries, there's no way to measure the fetus's blood oxygen. And they're being exposed to general anesthesia just like the mother, and, and just like the mother, they need to have their blood oxygen monitored. So basically, we developed this pulse oximeter, which measures blood oxygen in the fetus, so that that need is filled. Our device is great because it can monitor this um, blood oxygen level without actually making the surgery any more invasive or significantly adding to the surgical time. The material that the loop is covered with is called nitinol. Whenever it's in contact with like uh, 37 degrees temperature, it expands. This is our womb ox prototype. It's for use during fetal surgery. This is our womb approximate, and during fetal surgery, there's a four millimeter port, which surgeons use to access the womb. So our device passes through this port and then once in the womb, the nitinol reinforcement of our device expands into a loop and the surgeon can then wrap the device around a fetal extremity and tighten it in order to monitor the fetus's blood oxygen. What's typically used to measure blood oxygen in all adult patients is this uh, really simple standard, um, standard of care called pulse oximetry which uses LEDs of different wavelengths that are uh, detected with a photo detector. So we wanted to take that and think how can we take these same components, these light emitting and uh, light reading, light sensitive components, and uh, package them in something that's small enough and safe enough to be able to enter the womb and monitor the fetus. Nitinol is a memory shape metal that you can train it to take a specific shape at a certain temperature. It was uh, especially useful when packaging our device flat um, because we're limited by the size constraint of this trocar. So we had to have a method of flattening our device and then having it expand and able to be wrapped around the fetus's limb. We also, you know, we're really concerned with the safety of our device, the safety of, uh, of the fetus. So we've taken all possible measures to make sure our manufacturing fulfills those safety standards, but we also prepared a very thorough document with considerations for the people taking this project forward. This is just a proof of concept and uh, it's just a prototype. Designing something that can be adapted to like a fetal limb uh, is not a trivial matter. I mean, it's something that you have to put thought into it and like um, have many conversations between like them and myself like would this work would this not work like how would this be adapted into the surgeries so I think that they did a great job actually.